Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 15th, October 15th. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I'm going to tell you what I see. This reading may be for you. It may not be. We'll see what happens. This reading is for somebody. I don't know who. Typically, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Lack of growth, lack of creativity, somebody is stalled and for some reason it's like there's no growth where you're at. Oh, here we have a wake up call, needing to have some strength, find your strength. Dishonesty. Independent abundance. Okay. Somebody may be going through some, or getting some sort of awakening, a wake up call, getting a wake up call that they need to find their strength and take their power back. It looks like they've been in a situation where there's no growth and they'd be better off on their own. It feels like, you know, with that nine of pentacles, that's a lot of happy independence, you know. It's where you're enjoying life on your own, grateful for everything. The storm is over. Um, When you find your independence, you know, all your all your self-worth and self-respect and all that comes right back. Somebody is making a decision. Now, these are both cards of karma. Right together. There's definitely been some dishonesty. Somebody has been dishonest. There's been some lies. There's been an injustice, unfairness. Living in some sort of illusion, perhaps. And that's why there's been no growth. Because if it's not true, it's not true, right? There's no growth in fakeness. So... Somebody may feel like they've been smothered by a situation. Let me make sure this is focused. It is pretty good, isn't it? Um... It looks like if you are single, if you are single and you are enjoying life, you know, you're you're doing very well, you're happy, you're stable, you're secure, you're, you know, you're loving it. You're single and you love it. There's an offer coming in. There's an offer coming in. If you're single. Could be from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It looks as though you have been really focusing on your money, your job, your finances, your stability, your security. Maybe this, this person has been holding back communication from you. Maybe they're going to give it to you now. Um, it looks like somebody has not been communicating. They haven't been seeing things clearly, but maybe they get some sort of epiphany, some sort of awakening. Maybe they deal with a karmic situation that sets them back a notch, you know, um, makes them find their strength and their courage to, you know, go after their wish fulfillment. It looks like somebody is finding their strength to realize something, 
okay, to realize some sort of truth, because the judgment is truth, can also be a card of forgiveness. So maybe somebody realizes that they have not been treating another person fairly. That could be the case. You know, so maybe somebody comes, gets some goes, you know, gets some sort of awakening that realizes that they treated another person unfairly, and it's going to take strength to apologize or whatever the case is it is it takes strength to apologize a lot of it and courage and willpower so i really feel like for some of you you could receive a message from somebody that you've been waiting to hear from for others of you that are single and loving it you could receive an offer that You may not be ready for. You know, maybe you're you're not ready to let somebody in. Maybe you aren't. Maybe you are. I don't know. That's up to you. But the temperance reverse, it feels like you may feel like the time isn't right. You may feel like, you know what, right now I'm I'm still working on me. I'm still working on my finances. Things are a little unstable. Maybe that's how you feel. Maybe that you really are stable, but you feel like you need to become more stable. I feel as though there is some sort of offer that is coming in that may be not what you expect at this time, okay? I feel like with that Empress card reversed, there's a, like a lack of wanting to let anybody in or let any, let anything grow right now. It's like I don't think that I think that right now you are probably at a point where it's all about me. It's all about me right now. You know, I'm trying to work on me. I'm trying to bring growth into my life. Right now I'm going through a stagnant period of change. So I feel like the changes that are going on within you are positive and you may have this offer that you're just not quite ready for. Um, there is some sort of, I mean, there is, there's some sort of karma for sure that is being dealt with. And I feel like there is some sort of truth that, or yeah, it's truth. There's some sort of truth that is being revealed that may not. You may feel like it's just not the right time. Whatever is being revealed, whatever is happening, you may be like really unsure of, okay? You may be like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can even trust you. Okay, somebody may be coming to you with some truth, but you may not believe it because they've lied to you in the past or something like that. You know, it just feels like somebody is coming to you with the truth after they have been... There's been a terrible, there's been an injustice. They've lied. They haven't told the truth. So it's, you know, it's really hard to trust somebody when they have lied to you in the past. I think that somebody has um, communicated something, communicated their feelings um, un, unjustly. You know what I mean? They said something that they didn't mean, for lack of a better word. Somebody said something that they didn't mean and it's going to find, if they're going to need strength or somebody's going to need strength to come clean. All right. So I think there's somebody here that is looking for wish fulfillment and wanting to do the right thing, you know, wanting to be practical, wanting to make a new solid offer. But you may be like, you know what, it's, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. You know, I don't think so. I don't think this is the right time. Somebody has made a decision to tell the truth because where they're at, there's no growth. Somebody has made a decision 
to tell the truth because where they're at, there's no growth. That's where I said that from. They've been lying. They had been. And it looks like now they're finding the strength to... open up. I think we got somebody who's ready to open up and go after their dreams, go after what they really want. Let's get some clarifiers here. If I can get out of deck. Here we go. So yeah, I think that, that uh, there's some person that has got woken up went through, received some sort of epiphany that now wants, that now is urging them to be honest after they have lied for quite some time. I mean, there's definitely some lies here. Karma will kick you in the ass for that. So they may have got a good kick, swift kick in the ass from karma that has given them their awakening, okay? Karma may have said, you know, put on their steel boot or something. So anyway, um, but I think the other person in this dynamic is has found their stability, found their strength, found their um, independence, and doing quite well. So we have somebody here who's doing quite well independently. This person that is doing well is getting an offer. Somebody wants to start something with you. But with the temperance reversed, it's like, uh, I'm not sure. This is, the things are, you know, right now, I'm not sure if I want to give up my, my balance. I mean, right now, things are good. I'm not sure if I, am ready to turn my life upside down and join with you. Because this is joining together. So I feel like there's an opportunity for two people to come together, but one of them is like, eh, things are so good right now, I'm not sure if I'm ready to turn my life upside down and accept your offer. Hmm. What are we going to clarify? We're going to clarify this... Um Wish fulfillment card right here. This Nine of Cups, happiness. Oh my God. Nine of Cups reversed. Yeah, somebody didn't get their wishes fulfilled in another circumstance, right? They found out that whatever they were doing didn't, didn't fulfill them. Oh my God. Nine of Cups reversed. Clarifying the Nine of Cups. I mean, yeah, the Nine of Cups upright. It's like, well, and there's this person's ego was, was ego. They were ego driven. I mean, this is a card of ego as well. So we have we have an ego right here. So their ego got in the way, and it didn't get what they thought they were gonna get. And it feels like now, oh my goodness gracious, they didn't. Their wishes didn't get fulfilled the way they thought. It's like their cups didn't get filled. They they, they got emptied. It, it was it was worse on the other side. Somebody is lacking wish fulfillment in one situation, or they didn't get what they wanted, and now they they didn't know what they want because they didn't get what they wanted. Now they want their stability and their security back. Interesting. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords reverse. There's like a dishonesty here, a loss of power, lack of truth. Somebody was not being honest, or they haven't been honest, or they were unable to communicate. Ten of Coins. They may have been involved in a family situation that was a 
keeping them, you know, busy, keeping them really, really busy. I feel like this person, because it's, it's connected to the strength card, they want their stability back. Somebody's looking for that family dynamic. They're looking for stability. They're looking for abundance. They're looking for something long-term here, looking to build. I want my abundance. I, need, I want abundance. I want security. I want family. I, it looks like somebody was dishonest about a commitment, you know, happiness. For, perhaps even afraid of commitment. Somebody is was really discontent on their own, but pretending that they were okay. And this is faking it as well. Somebody has been pretending that they were good when they were not good. Interesting. Yeah, definitely pretending. That absolutely in denial pretending. Somebody is pretending or they were pretending that They were happy, but they're not happy. They weren't happy. Somebody was pretending they were happy. There's where That's where the dishonesty comes in. Somebody is pretending that everything is good when everything is not good. The other person in the situation that is on their own really is good, really has been good. This person that has been taking the time to bring the abundance back to their lives. So we have two people here. We have one person that's a fake and then we have another person that is real. So this fake person has received some sort of epiphany, some sort of uh, boot, you know, steel boot, that has um, aided them or is, is, is aiding them in making a decision in regards to their own stability, their security, what they want in life. They're getting some sort of awakening that they have been avoiding, okay? It's like, and they've been in complete denial, pretending that they were so happy and, you know, their wishes were being fulfilled, when the fact of the matter is that was a lie. They weren't happy. They're not happy. Somebody has been in denial for quite some time, trying to avoid the truth, but I feel like now, now, they may be coming forward with some sort of offer of stability and love. So I feel like there's definitely somebody is in the process of trying to make a decision on how they are going to handle this, how they are going to come through. Um, they know that they have lied. They know that they have treated another person unfairly. Um, their ego absolutely got in the way. Um... But they also know where the stability is. They know where the stability is. And the Empress. I was clarifying this card. We get the Empress. Oh my goodness. Let me make sure this is focused in a little bit better. But anyway, the Empress is, is we know who the Empress is. This is a very wise, wise woman. This woman is beautiful, she's abundant, she doesn't settle, she knows what she's worth, she's experienced a lot of pain, she's the, she's, she's the ticket, she is the ticket. And I think that we have a man here that realizes that there is a woman that is the, is the one, she's the one. She's, she's, she's happy. She's, she is. I mean, she's the goddess of love. Everybody wants her. So I feel like there is an offer that is coming in for this woman who is single. 
this woman, if you're single, okay, this is this is a single woman usually, or if she can be married, but for this, say, okay, so let me explain this for a second. If you are in a relationship and you are not happy and you're not happy in a relationship and you're still in that relationship but you're looking for somebody else, you're not the empress. Because the empress is so wise, she has so much life experience, she knows better. She gets out of that relationship first. The empress is very, very wise. Okay, she's a wise woman who doesn't play games. She knows what she wor she's worth. She knows what she's worth to the point where she doesn't involve herself in any third party situation. She doesn't because she knows her self worth. A woman with self worth knows that she is too good to involve herself in any third party situation. Even if she's the outsider, you know, if she's the even if she's the single one, she knows better. She knows that she's worth a man that is available, put it that way. So this woman knows her worth. So if you are a woman that knows your worth, there is a, there is a man that sees that. He has been, he's been staying back, okay? He's been staying back. But he's been watching and he's been waiting for the time. He probably thinks the time is now to connect. Because he, this man also knows that you are the pick because you don't settle. So he knows every man wants the woman that doesn't settle. Trust me. They want a woman with this kind of confidence. So anyway, I feel like there is a single, I think there is a single woman, a single empress that is receiving some sort of offer that she may not be ready for. Okay, with that temperance card there. I think somebody sees her worth because she sees her worth. Okay. Queen of Swords. This is seeing something from a new perspective. We have somebody here that is has received some sort of awakening, some sort of wake-up call. And they want to make an offer after they have been holding back for some time, pretending that they, they didn't want to. Yep, somebody's coming clean with the truth. The truth is going to come out. The Seven of Swords reversed. The truth is going to be revealed. Somebody is, somebody is, and this is communication as well. I think that you are going to receive, if you are a single woman who has become the Empress, you are going to receive some communication from somebody that you have been waiting for. Well, not even if you haven't been waiting for it. Maybe you don't even know this is coming. There is some sort of offer of love that is coming in for this single empress. Let's clarify some of these over here. What is this karma? This is these are both karma and they're right together. This is this is a negative karma, bad luck, bad karma because somebody didn't do the right thing. Somebody didn't treat somebody fairly. They didn't want to be held accountable for their actions and that's when that steel boot comes out and gives the gives the person the awakening that they that they need because they didn't treat somebody fairly. So, I think that there's been some sort of Well, you already know what I said. I think there's been some sort of kick that has has really given somebody a, an awakening. King of Cups fits, doesn't it? Okay, so we have somebody that was didn't have good intentions. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that didn't have good intentions. Probably a man that didn't have good intentions. You know, didn't have any follow through. This person was like narcissistic. 
lack of communication skills, withdrawal, um, stubborn, controlling, cold, uses emotional blackmail and silent treatment as a tactic. So I think we have a water sign that may have gotten a swift kick in the ass. Could be any other, any other, because we all have different elements in our chart, right? <laughs> I mean, I can't make this shit up. So there we have, we have somebody here who didn't, hasn't done the right thing. Therefore, they don't have any growth. When you don't be held accountable, when you won't be held accountable, when you don't do the right thing, when you don't act with integrity, and you just remove, withdraw, and you don't communicate, and the whole nine yards. When you know you need to, you can expect karma. You can expect that boot. So anyway, I feel like there's somebody has received some sort of awakening. A secret is about to be revealed. Some secret or truth or something is about to be revealed. And it could be revealed from above. I mean, the universe works in mysterious ways. Somebody from your past. So I, this could be a past partner. Coming to apologize or to come clean or who knows, who knows. But I feel like there is some sort of offer coming in. That may take strength. It may take strength to even communicate. It may take strength to say no, okay? Because this Queen of Swords is likely to say no. It may take strength to cut this person out. It may take strength to... Know your worth. And that's why the Empress is here. So just beware. You may receive a message from somebody that really hurt you in the past. They've received some sort of epiphany. They've received some sort of awakening. And you, you know, <laughs> they want it back. And probably some parts of you want it back. But you know that this could never be happy. And you need to realize that I don't think there's any coming together here. No real, no real compromise will come out of this. There's this person with a temperance reverse really hasn't changed, right? I mean, maybe they, they're probably going to tell you they have. Anyhow, I feel like there's somebody that, be careful, be careful, because I think there's a, there's an offer coming in with somebody, from somebody from your past that may want a reconciliation, but you're going to need strength to realize that it didn't lead to wish fulfillment in the past. Why would it lead to wish fulfillment now? You've come a long, long way. You've gained a lot of wisdom. You've gained a lot of independence and self-respect and self-worth. This temperance reversed is, I don't think, I don't think that, you, you know, that it will take all the healing that you've done right away. It will. 
beware with the seven of swords beware seven of swords reverse beware because you may need to really be the queen of swords in this situation you know i really feel like there's an offer or a message coming in from somebody that really hurt you and you may need to be this queen of swords that says fuck off suck it get over it so yeah I feel like today is a day I'm sorry to be so well I'm sure I'll get some comments under this that say you don't need to talk like that well, you don't need to watch me all right so anyway I am who I am and I'm not gonna change Ask anybody that knows me. We have somebody here that is coming in after they've received that steel boot up their ass. Remember who they are. They haven't changed. But you have. Good luck.